Hello everybody, how are you? So today we are going to look at how to solve when you have non-linear equation especially, or non-linear differential equation. But to do that, we have to look at exact equation. So to understand exact equation, um, let's let's brush up some uh, let let's clear up some uh, basic. Where if you are given uh, two independent variable, when you are taking the derivatives, you will have partial f over partial x dx plus partial f over partial y dy. Especially when our f of x, y equals to c, when c is a constant, then we have partial f over partial x dx plus partial f over partial y dy equals to 0. So is that equation has something to do with this, okay? It's important when you are taking the derivative with respect to x and respect to y. Okay, so what is is that equation? So is that equation is let me just write it again. So um so is that equation is given by M NXY DX plus NXY DY equals to zero. Now this is Z equation. So um, you have one side of the equation where you written as DX and the other side you written as DY. Now if you look at this example here x2 y3 dx plus x3 y2 dy equals to 0. Now, um, the equation is is that if the left hand side, you can get back exactly the left hand side. Okay, for example, okay, if I take this derivative, respect to x and y you can see that this is a product rule right so this is u let's see this is v so u 1 over 3 x 3 dv dy okay dv dy so we have 3 y 2 dy plus now all you want to take respect to x now we have 3x2 y3 dx. So simplifying this will give me x3 y2 dy plus x2 y3 dx. Which is, if you look at it, is exactly the same with the left hand side. Okay? So therefore, we will say this equation. Equation is z. Okay, now there's another term. We say it um, is a differential. Now, is a differential is if partial m over partial y equals to partial n over partial x. Now, we know that um, our m is given by this term here so this is our m and this is our n so if you have equation you have to identify which one which one which one is m and n okay let's look at one example for um z differential so we have 2xy2 plus 1 dx plus 2x2y dy equals 0. Now you can see that this is your n, this is your n. Okay, we want to find whether this equation is exact differential. So to find exact differential, take the partial derivative respect to y, 
give us 4xy. Now take the partial derivative with respect to x for your n will give you 4xy. Okay, so therefore, since partial m over partial y equals to partial n over partial x, we say the equation is z. Okay, z differential in another word. Okay, let's let's look at one more example. Look at one more example. dy dx, I'm going to write it like this, dy dx equals to xy2 minus cos x sine x over y1 minus x squared. Okay, this question is interesting because it's not in the form of m dx and n x dy. So we have to arrange this. So multiplying the left hand side with 1 minus x squared dy and multiplying the right hand side with dx. Okay, let's see okay so what we do now just rearrange we will write it in the form of m and n so we have this so this is for my m and then bring this on the other side so we have plus okay we have this is for m and n Okay, now we take the partial m with respect to y, respect to y. So I have 2xy. We can't, we can't do anything here because it's all x. Now for this equation, partial n over partial x, with respect to x. So I have 2, sorry, I miss a negative sign here. So it should be a negative here, negative here. You know why? Because I'm bringing this whole thing to the right hand side. So it'll be minus, okay? Okay, now the, uh, taking the derivative of the respect to x. So we have negative, negative, positive to xy. So we can say that since partial m over partial y equals to partial n over partial x, therefore the equation is or the differential is z. Okay, now uh, the next term will be how do we solve is that equation? So that will be our next part. So solving is that equations. So there are a few steps. So the number one, we must make sure our m x y dx plus nxy dy equals to zero okay and also the equation must be an exact differential number two so we let partial f over partial x equals to my m okay now what we want to do we want to find we want to find, we want to integrate, integrate partial f over partial x, dx, integrate m, x, y, dx. So, uh, what we want to find, we want to find the constant, the constant here. So, let's say this is what we got upon integrating. And then, remember when you integrate this, you will have a constant. This constant is involving y. We want, we want to put it like that. Now, step four will be, okay, let's call this number one to differentiate. 
differentiate y with respect to y. Okay, so when you differentiate this respect to y, you will obtain g prime y equals to something here we don't know. Okay, now this step 5 will be to let df over dy equals to n of xy. Now this n you have known earlier from the given equation. So this n here. So by, if, by letting like this, so we can equate this equation with the one we find g prime y. Okay, you can equate these two. When you equate these two, you can find, you can find g prime y. Okay, so integrate one more time to find g y. Okay, and then put it back into uh, substitute back. Into 1. And then we write f of x, y equals to c. Okay, so these are the whole idea on how we solve uh, equation involving an exact equation. Okay, so the next step will be looking at um, looking at 